fire came over that ridge first. The homes on Paul Martinez's street were some of the first to burn in the Wado Canyon fire. Two houses to our west, two houses to our east burned down and our survived. So, uh, you know, through the grace of God, blind ass luck and in uh, some great firefighting. Martinez also credits the large trees he kept watered by his home. But we really feel that uh, these trees were, had a lot of a big fuel moisture content to them and they survived the fire from that and they saved this house from burning down. So when one of them died, the thought of cutting it down was unacceptable. And that's where artist David Gonzalez comes in. They're too special for us, uh, too special to us. So we decided if we we're gonna do something, we wanted to do a carving. There we go. That's it. This is a rebirth for the tree, yes. Gonzalez is transforming the tree into a tribute. Carving into it animals the family had often spotted in their backyard. Great horned owl, bobcat, mountain lion, and, and a bear. Like many of the residents in Mountain Shadows who have returned, the animals are making their way back too. <laughs> proving that the neighborhood is not just rebuilding houses, but a place they can all call home. The neighborhood is, is bouncing back. The, the people, our friends, are just uh, very resilient. Great, great attitudes. And, and I, I hope this, this tree is a tribute to that.